Today we will be applying to Somerset Community College as a dual credit student. The first thing we will need to do is to go to the Somerset Community College website at www.somerset.kctcs.edu. When we get to this page, you will see up in the right hand corner, apply. Click on this. And of course, you're going to put, I'm not a robot, and start application. Please enter an email address where a verification code can be sent. We recommend using your high school email address that's been assigned to you by the high school. Please check your email for the verification code. And after entering the verification code, click Confirm. Please click the drop-down box and choose Somerset Community College. On the second drop-down box, choose the campus that you will be attending. Then enter your personal information. On this page, you will enter your social security number. Your social security number must be correct as it has to match with Kia in order to receive the scholarship. If you do not know your correct social security number, go to your counselor as they would have this on file. On this page, you will create a password. We recommend you use an uppercase letter a lowercase letter, one number, and one of the symbols that is given to you to choose from. As you enter these passwords, you will get a green checkbox when both match. After this, you can answer the hint question and your hint response, then click Create Account. On this page, you're given a chance to go back and make sure that everything you've entered is correct. If not, this is the page to make corrections. If all is correct, click Next Step. On this page, be sure and put your cell phone number. We'll also need a contact number. Then click Next Step. On the citizenship question, after you answer this, yes, then you'll click Next Step. Answer the ethnicity, and then click Next Step. Now, on this page, it sometimes is a little tricky for our dual credit students. When it says, when do you plan to start taking classes? You will be taking classes while you're still enrolled in high school. Not uh, This is not after you graduate. This is while you're still enrolled in high school. So you will click fall if your classes start in August, or you're going to click spring if your classes start in January. Put your expected graduation date, and then click next step. On this page, you will put Kentucky as your school state, and then you're going to start typing in the name of your high school, add this school, and then you'll click next step. You also click the little box where it says high school, and then click next step. Be sure and take your time on this page as sometimes students maybe don't take time to read and maybe answer some questions wrong on this. So please take time and make sure that you check that you've lived in Kentucky 12 months as you will have to fill out residency papers if you don't. Click next step. Here is a time to make any corrections. As you look over this, scroll back up and look to make sure that you've not made any mistakes. And if all is correct, you'll hit confirm and submit. After you hit confirm and submit, you will be given a student ID number. We recommend you take a picture of this for future reference. Congratulations, you've now completed the online application as a dual credit student. After this, you will need to meet with your high school counselor and she will help you with all the paperwork needed for the dual credit classes and she'll help you choose the class that you need and she will also have information about completing the scholarship applications you needed if you choose this to pay for your classes.